and a very warm welcome everybody to me Spuds and uh, here we are back in our city of Spud Castle looking at the uh, rather nice pedestrian area we put in last week over the river are this come out really really like this and there uh, wasn't that much in the way of actually detailing really bit of prop line tool here and there uh, ploppable rico for hand plays and stuff Oop. Jumpy mouse, sorry about that. And a uh, bit of move it really. Okay, there's a few assets off the workshop as well with these uh, various pedestrian ice roads, food trucks and stuff. Really recommend these food trucks. <laughs> Great for detailing. Any useful for anywhere where people might gather in a in a space as it were. Really, really like that. I'd just like to say thank you everyone for all the lovely comments the last couple of episodes. Really, really nice. Glad to see people are liking it, you know. If uh, you are new here, um, please feel free to subscribe. You know, I do get videos up once a week, um, usually at the weekend. Life permitting, like, you know. Um, and yeah, if you do enjoy it, don't forget to hit the uh, big old like button. Love seeing all the people coming and going. <laughs> Right, what are we going to be doing today? We're going to come and do something I've been looking forward to getting my teeth into more or less since the start of this map, um, which is this castle. And what I'd like to do is um, convert this into a zoo um, so we can get some use out of it, get some people moving through it and what have you. Um, we've already got pathway set up around quite a lot of it and stuff so uh thinking obvious entrance here here and here with the uh main entrances and then we can have various enclosures in some of these spaces um we'll have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery with the old move it and stuff um so it's going to be quite a game of tetris getting this in because i'm sure if those of you are familiar with the zero assets some of them are pretty large and I do want to keep as much of the castle intact as possible like so because I think the map makers made a cracking job over there <laughs> a nice little cruise ship going out right with that um, I shall slap a couple of roads down here lay out the assets and then we'll um, jump in to move it and we'll uh, we'll We'll see how this turns out, and I shall uh, see you in a few moments.
Right, okay, so we're back and yeah, pretty over the moon with how this has turned out. This is uh, turned out pretty lovely if I do say so myself, made up with this. So, got our nice little entrance here with our metro station. There's a train coming in there now. Was a bit of a game of Jenga. This fitting all the different exhibits and enclosures in and around. But we managed to get it all in, and in fact, we accidentally put the um, bison enclosure in twice by mistake there. I didn't realise when I was putting the second one in, I'd already done that one. <laughs> Not to worry, fills the space out nicely. So, yeah, let's go and get a bit of a closer look. Hey? I've tried to use kind of just two or three different plants on the um, the palette with the decorating. Um, so we got like the Pacific rhododendrons, the tall grass from the um, content creator packs. Uh, lots of these hedges, which again, that's the content creator, the wild hedge. And then the other one I've been using a lot of is the red camellia. We're trying to use that around to kind of tie it all in together. We've saved as much of um, the castle as we could and the bits of detail and that were already there. We've tried to incorporate. Did change some of the planting around in this, but kept the basic design and changed the paths a bit. Used like um, the zoo shop, but uh, the zoo cafe, but. Four, uh, three rows of four of them to make it look like it's one large cafe as it were. So the little mascots going around. <laughs> um, and then one of the other things we did do is we uh, used a lot of these decals around the place. And like, in one or two spots we did pay all them just to get neat edges. Um, but the majority of them are just as they come. Nice little kids area in. Love how this central section's come out. Love how all of it's come out to be honest. <laughs> but I mean, you know, you've got half an idea on something might look good in an area. And until you dive in and do it and see what actually comes out. You don't really know until you uh, have a crack at it. I, I, I thought as it would look good in here for, since I, I started the map and I've been dying to get my teeth into this. I so enjoyed doing this. Lovely to just focus on doing loads of detailing, you know. I think it's turned out smashing. This area was quite tricky around here because there's a couple of keys encroaching and stuff and I wanted to get a... Um, the map makers actually put a path all the way around this top. So I figured I wanted to um, route a path up there so that even if people don't go up there because there's no point of interest in anything for them to go up there for, I wanted it to look like at least he could access that path kind of thing. So yeah, what I've done there is used a couple of them same rocks we used out by the lighthouse there. Just to fill the uh, the land up that was showing there because that was a little bit on the ugly side. Really, really made up how this has come off. I am. <laughs> And then one of the other things I've done, I'll, uh, I'll quickly show you, I'll go into um, night time, and I recommend doing this as well, folks, is I went around and put loads of lights about. So I've used kind of these pinky ready spotlights. 
all around the castle walls to uh, illuminate it at night. If you've got something that's a project build, definitely recommend having a look what you've got in the way of lights and um, light and stuff for play. <laughs> I love that. I was trying to think of it as um, trying to remember you kind of building two cities at once your day city and your nighttime city. It never hurts to, like, you know, turn the nighttime on and go around, put, put a few extra lights about, and if you've got spotlights, put them. about and you know you can paint with light as well as everything else love that love 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 how that works let's go back into daytime <clears throat> and uh, one of the other things i did um i wanted to do a little shout out for uh jake jemson so we re renamed these bridges uh, and Jake has got a channel and he's um and there will be a link in the description and stuff. And um Jake's a bridge engineer. So I hope hope that meets um standard with the elevation there. I know it might be a little bit steep on that one. But we were very, very tight for space getting it in, so I had to kind of work it as best as I could with the smoothness. So yeah, we've renamed these um Jake Jemson's Little Princess Happy Pirate and Sparkly Unicorn Bridges <laughs> his, um, his little girl came in on his his video the other day when he was recording and it was the cutest thing ever um, and that was some of the stuff she came up with uh, it was just it was just adorable <laughs> So yeah, uh, so I hope they're suitable bridges, Jake, because uh, I, I was thinking this original span probably would have originally been um, a drawbridge, but once the, uh, the castle lost its tactical kind of use, they decided, well, if we fill the, the middle section in, we can um, get heavier transports across here kind of thing, so... Plus, I think they're quite nice and in keeping with the style. Right, uh, just quickly before I go and set some cities up, I think we should uh, discuss what we're doing next time. It's probably going to be filling in this area. Now we know what we've got on this front um, to work with, we can think about blending this area then. Um, and I was thinking maybe one or two offices, um, maybe a couple of bars, maybe a trendy night spot kind of thing just here, maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. I try not to plan too much. Um, and I'm certainly, I know this will uh, horrify one or two, two viewers who, um, when, I, when I say this, I never dry run anything or overly plan it. I just jump in, start throwing stuff down, see where we go, kind of thing. I quite often change my mind and shuffle it all about, what have you, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I never do a dry run, just jump in. That, that's that's how I like to fly. <laughs> I live dangerous. Right, I shall um, bid you all farewell. I uh, shall go and set some cinematics up. And... Uh, I hope everyone stays well and stuff and uh, enjoy the cinematics and um, I shall see you all next time.